Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Bob Marley called Three Little Birds. And the instrumental in intro kind of starts all around an A major chord. And the way you play A major, first finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and third finger goes to the B string on the third fret, or second fret. So it's a big party on the second fret. So you got D, G, and B on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then there's this cool little lick over the intro, actually, where you can kind of play the open A string, and then do it down on the A, and then go second fret on the G, and we're going to do a hammer on. So I'm kind of playing second fret on the G string with my first finger, and kind of putting my third finger down on fourth fret on the G to kind of carry the sound. And then immediately after that, if you kind of do a pull off, it's kind of back right back to that second fret. So it's kind of a 2 4 2 hammer on pull off. And then we're going to go fifth fret on the B string, and then go back to second fret on the, on the B string. So you got open A, A, two, four, two, five, two. And the reason why I'm doing that fifth fret on the B string actually is because another way to kind of cheat that actually, or the A major, is to kind of take the first finger and kind of do like a little mini bar like over the D and the G and the B string. And then that way you can kind of just hold down your first finger for that lick. And then we're going to do another bass on the open A and then do another down on the A. So you got open A, down, two, four, two, five, two, open A, A chord, open A, chord, two, four, two, five, two, open A chord. Now another way to kind of just strum through that though is using something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a four, four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A major and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Up, down. But then when we get to our chorus, we start on the A major, we do that four times. So we got A, 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 but then we go to a D major chord, and the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the high on the second fret, third finger on the B string on the third fret, and if you strum the D, G, B, and E, you the skinny four strings, that sounds a D major chord that sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major, we're going to go right back to the A major, and then we do another A major. And on our chorus, we kind of just repeat that. So we tried that with our strum pattern. We have A down, up, up, down, up, 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 G down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, up, A down, down, up, up, down, up, A 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 First we do A major, and then we do another A, but then we go to an E major chord, and the way you play E major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the first fret, second finger goes to the A string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like E major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the E major, we're going to be going back to the A major, A major, and then D major, D major. And then we go back to A major, A major, E major, E major, D major, D major, and then back to A major, and then A major. So we try to reverse with our strum pattern. We have A down, up, up, down, up, A down, up, up, down, E down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, B down, down, up, up, down, up, A down. Just as an aside, on that very last D, D, A, A, 
It almost sounds like the bass player is going to a C note on the second D. So if you wanted to kind of follow the bass player and not the guitar player, you could kind of start from the D major and then go to a C major chord. So if you play a C major chord, you do first finger on the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord that sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major chord, we go we go in right back to the A major and the A major. So you may want to think about that as kind of a verse variation. And if we tried that through through our with our strum pattern, we have A down, up, up down, up, A down, down, up, up down, B 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 down. Something else I would think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, you could do a bass note for the chord. So for instance, on the A chord, you could do the A string for your bass, just like in the intro leg, and kind of keep your down, up, up, down, up. So we have A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, up, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down. Then on the D chord, you have the B string for your bass, so D bass, down, up, up, down, up, D bass, down, up, up, down, D with the D bass, down, up, up, down. And then on the E chord, you have the low E string for your bass. So low E bass, down, up, up, down, D with the low E bass, down, up, up, down, D with the low E bass, down, up, up, down. And then on the C chord, you have the A string for your bass. You're kind of digging on that first variation. C with the A bass, down, up, up, down, C with the A bass, down, up, up, down, up. So we try that next chorus with our bass, down, up, up, down. We'd have A with the bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, A with an A bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, up, up, down, D with a D bass, down, and then if we try that through our first, then we have A with an A bass down, up, up, down, A with an A bass down, up, up, down, B with a low E bass down, up, up, down, B with a low E bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, up, up, down, B with an E bass down, up, up, down, B with an E bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, up, up, down, B with an A bass down, up, up, down, B with a low E bass down. Digging on that that kind of that that D C A variation there, we could try it that way too. So we have A with an A bass down up, up down B with an A bass down up, up down B with a low E bass down up, up down B with a low E bass down up, up down B with an A bass down up, up down B with an A bass down up, up down B with a D bass down up, up down B with a D bass down up, up down B with an A bass down up, up down B with an A bass down up, up down B with a low E bass down up. And then from there we'd be repeating our chorus for the rest of the tune. Now a couple other things that I would think about adding though is doing something called reggae feel. And what reggae does is kind of a variation on the bass idea that we were doing. And a lot of times traditionally in reggae what you would do is kind of a bass and then a down up with the chord and then take your right hand and kill the strings and then do another down and then kind of kill it. So on the A chord you have an A bass, down, up, kill it, down, A with an A bass, down, up, kill it, down, A with an A bass, down, up, kill it, down, A with an A bass, down, up, kill it, down. And then on the D chord you have a D string for your bass. D bass, down, up, kill it, down, D with a D bass, down, up, kill it, down, D with a D bass, down, up, kill it, down. And then on the E you'd have the low E string for your bass. Low E bass, down, up, kill it, down, E with low E bass, down, up, kill it. Down, up, kill it, down, and on the C, you'd still be doing the A string for your bass. C 
Sing an A bass down, up, kill it, down, see with an A bass down, up, kill it, down, kill it, A, a bass down, up, down, 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 yep, sing with an A bass down, up, kill it, down, kill it. So we tried that through it through our, our verse. We had, or actually, let's try it through our chorus. Let's see, we got A with an A bass down, up, down, A with an A bass down, up, kill it, down, A with an A bass down, up, kill it, down, A with an A bass down, up, kill it. Do the D bass down, up, kill it. Down, do the D bass down, up, kill it. Down, A with an A bass down, up, kill it. Down, A with an A bass down, up, kill it. Down, A with an A bass down, up, kill it. Down, A with an A bass down, up, kill it. Down, A with an A bass down, up, kill it. Down, A with an A bass down, up, kill it. Down, D with a D bass down, up, kill it. Down, D with a D bass down, up, kill it. Down, A with an A bass down, up, kill it. Down, A with an A bass down, up, kill it. And then if we try that through our verse part, then we have A with an A bass down, up kill it, down, A with an A bass down, up kill it, down, A with E with a low E bass down, up kill it, down, E with a low E bass down, up kill it, down, A with an A bass down, up kill it, down, A with an A bass down, up kill it, down, D with a D bass down, up kill it, down, D with a D bass down, up kill it, down, A with an A bass down, up kill it, down, A with an A bass down, up kill it, down, E with a low E bass down, up kill it, down, E with a low E bass down, up kill it. Digging on that verse variation, we could try that way too. So you have A with an A bass down, up kill it, down A with an A bass down, up kill it, down you with low E bass down, up kill it, down you with low E bass down, up kill it, down A with an A bass down, up kill it, down A with an A bass down, up kill it, down D with a D bass down, up kill it, down D with a D bass down, up kill it, down A with an A bass down, up kill it, down A with an A bass down, up kill it, down you with low E bass down, up kill it, down you with low E bass down, up kill it. D with a D bass down, up kill it. Down C with an A bass down, up kill it. Down A with an A bass down, up kill it. Down A with an A bass down, up kill it. Down. So that might be kind of a cool thing to do. And I, actually, something else that I would think about adding is actually some other places to play these chords. And so, for instance, on the A major chord, right now we're playing an, an A and a C sharp and an E. Actually, when you're holding down that A major shape. And you can actually play those same chords in a different place, actually, on the same strings. So if you took the first finger, you kind of went to the B string on the 5th fret, 2nd finger on the G string on the 6th fret, and 3rd finger on the D string on the 7th fret. If you strum all those strings together, that's still an A major chord. You're actually still playing an A and C sharp and E. So anytime you see an A major, you can, still, you can actually play it with that voice instead. And another way to play the A major is if you took that shape and kind of slid it all the way up to 9, 10, and 11, and kind of switched the first finger into the second finger. So now i got first finger on the G string 9, second finger on the B string 10, third finger on the D string 11. And if you strum all those, that's another way to play A major. So actually, anytime you're on that A major, especially for an extended period of time, you could try using those different voicings for the A major. And then that way you can kind of be moving around a little bit. Sometimes that'll freak out other guitar players you're playing with. <laughs> to use other voicings for chords. And then when you get to the D chord, actually right now when we're playing the D major, we're playing Ds and F sharps and A's. And another way to play those three notes actually is to go to high on the fifth, pinky on the B string on the seven, third finger on the G string on the seven. And if you strum the top four strings with that, that's still a D major chord. You can use anytime you see a D major chord. And then from that D major, that, that's kind of working Ds, F sharps, and A's. You can take the first finger and kind of do a little mini bar over the 10th fret on the E and B and take the second finger and go to the G string on the 11th fret. And that's like a little D major. So you can really use any one of those three voicings for the D. And you're still working on the same strings and you still got the same bass note, which is very, very cool, I think, just to kind of try to play around with it. And then when you get to the E major chord, if you do the low E string for your bass, right? Kind of, kind of what, now we're playing E's and G sharps and B's. And another way to play those is if you take the first finger and you go to fourth fret on the G, third finger on the D string on the six, and the pinky on the A string on the seven, then that's another way you can kind of play an E major. And it's a little bit of a stretch. You may want to try and think about the raising the head up or, or something to kind of get that if that's a, a problem stretch wise. And then another way to play E major is to go first finger on the ninth fret on the D, second finger on the G string on the nine, and then the, taking the pinky and going to the A string on the 11. And if you strum all the strings with that, that's another way to play E major. So you can actually switch between those voices for E major too, kind of work in that same field. Or you can try with the down, down, up, up, down, up. I just 
just think that could be very cool to kind of change your voicings if you've got enough time on the chord to kind of work it that way. So just to play around with that, if we try to verse that way, and I'm, I'm just thinking the regular verse without the C chord, you got the A chord, A chord, E chord, E chord, A chord, A chord, A chord, D chord, D chord, A, E, E, D, D, A, A. might be something else you want to kind of play around with. But that's the basics of how you could play uh, Bob Marley's Three Little Birds, or Don't Worry. Uh, so good luck!